If you've ever wondered if you're using the right putter length for your game, today, Larry Bobka, Second Swig Master Fitter, will answer that question and help you start making more putts. You're gonna putt good one day, you're gonna putt bad, and you know then you're gonna be one of those people that walk in here and go, hey, I'm a streaky putter. Well, you're a streaky putter because you're probably not in the right length of putter. Yeah. And you know when it comes to priority of a fit, Loft is number one. There's no doubt about it. We got to have the right loft in the putter. Mm -hmm. Number two is length. Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. Today I'm with Larry Bobka. Today Larry, we're talking about putter length. I think a lot of golfers, you know, they walk into the store, they might roll a few putts, and maybe they're, they're thinking about the face, they're thinking about the style of putter they like. I think sometimes maybe shaft length goes forgotten. What's kind of your experience with finding the right putter length for players? Well, one of the things that you, you've got to find, two things that the reason you have to have the right length putter is, one, you want your arms to hang with no tension. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I don't have the right putter length, if it's too short or too long, if it's too short, they're going to hang down too far and we're going to feel like we're going to create tension. If it's too short, your arms are going to, you're going to feel like you're too close into your body and you're not going to swing well. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in other videos, you know, we fit with Quintech here. Yep. So we're trying to create good numbers. Well, if you're not in a good position to start, you're not going to hit it very well. I mean, it's like having a golf, it's having, like having a seven iron that's the wrong length for you. Right. You're not going to hit a solid shot. Well, the same, same thing holds true in putting. So we really want to be in a nice, comfortable posture that makes you feel like you can roll the ball solid, the right speed mm -hmm. on your line to make more putts. Okay. Okay. So I've brought three putters in here. Yep. I've got three ping putters here that are three different lengths. So we're going to start with the length that you play. Yep. Okay. Which is 35 inches. And all I want you to do is set up like you were going to set up like you're going to hit it into the, into the screen there, you know, and if we take a look, you look very comfortable. You look like you're in a very athletic position. It looks like your arms are hanging very well. So if you come here to get a putter fitting from us, that's what we're looking at, okay? Right. You can make measurements. You can make a wrist of the floor measurement. You can, do, you can do all those things. But at the end of the day, you really want to just feel like you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because when you walk out of the door here, you're going to go into your comfort position. Yep. Okay, I can put you into maybe a better position that I think is going to help you putt better. But when you go out there and play the first green on Saturday morning, you're yep. going to go back to what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Okay, so now if I give you the 34 inch putter, you set up to that and let's see what you look like. Okay, you're a little bit more bent over. Well, what happens now is now your eyes are a little bit too far out of the golf ball. Right. So that's going to change your path. You're going to see the path of the putter going back that's mm -hmm. going to be different. Okay. Now let's take it to the extreme. <laughs> okay. Now, now everything's got to bend. My back's got to bend. My knee's got to bend. That is not a very comfortable position to roll right. a golf ball from. Right? Definitely. And think about that, that if you're you're out playing, you, you know, you got a little Nassau with your buddies and you're hoping to make some putts. I don't want to be standing like that, no. right? I mean, if you look at the best putters in the world, you know, guys like Crenshaw, Faxon, they look like the putter was born with them, you know? Mm -hmm. They just stand there. So let's go back here and you'll see that they just have a very, it's an athletic look, it's an athletic feel. They talk about their arms feeling like they're almost weightless, right. you know, there's no tension. The right putter length will take the tension out of your stance, which if I can take the tension out of your stance, then I can allow that putter head to flow better. Right. And the better it flows, the better you're going to strike it, the more putts you're going to make. It, it seems like whenever tour players describe when the, their putting stroke is at the best, they say the word free a lot. It, it yeah. feels very free. And it feels like 
if your putter is too short or maybe it's too long, it's really hard to create freedom if you're not comfortable. Well, if you think about it, you know, a putting stroke or a golf swings like a door opening, closing, and then swinging the other way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if there's something to stop that hinge, how am I gonna how am I gonna get that how am I gonna get that door to close? Right. You're not gonna get it to close. You're gonna manufacture something, <laughs> then it's gonna cause the numbers to be bad, then you're gonna putt you're gonna putt good one day, you're gonna putt bad, and you know, then you're gonna be one of those people that walk in here and go, Hey, I'm a streaky putter. Mm -hmm. Well you're a streaky <laughs> putter because you're probably not in the right length of putter. Yeah. And you know, when it comes to priority of a fit, loft is number one. There's no doubt about it. We got to have the right loft in the putter. Mm -hmm. Number two is length. Okay. A lot of people worry about lie angle. Lie angle is really secondary because if you think about it, there's been great putters that have putted with the toe up in the air. Yep. Okay. Seve Ballesteros. You talk about great players that have putted with the heel up in the air. Okay, Steve Stricker. Definitely. Okay, Payne Stewart when he won the when he won his last open had the heel up in the air. So it's it's less about the lie angle of the putter, but your ability to consistently strike it. Length and loft are the things that really matter when it comes to a putter. Absolutely. Okay. And that really is the thing that we focus on here is just making sure that you're comfortable so when you walk out the door you can make more putts. Right. Larry, as you pointed out, the, the length of the putter is so important, and I think it's also nice that it's not, it's not a very complicated, long fix. It's pretty immediate. A oh, fitter, yeah. a second swing, will be able to diagnose that perfect length for you right away. And we encourage all golfers to go in to second swing, speak with a fitter, get fit, start making more putts. Larry, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for watching.